Start to finish there. Was that your most complete game of the season? It probably was. Um, it was for sure the best first period we've had. You know, 21 shots. Um, and, I, and I felt like in that period, that second goal we scored was really important because as, you know, say, say you're on the road and, you know, the home team plays great in the first period and, and they only get one. So you kind of go, well, we got out of that one, you know. Um, and then coming out in the third, you know, we spoke a little bit. I thought it would be important to get that third goal and, you know, keep keep building that gap. Um, but I, I thought the I thought the penalty kill was good. Power play got a couple goals. Um, maybe didn't look great, but getting back, you know, kind of off the schneid might be important for helping us look a little better. What opened up those two opportunities on the power play? Uh, Artem found a rebound on on kind of both of them. The first one was a point shot, and um, Artem found it and was able to score. And the second one, Kevin kind of jumped by on the flank, you know, because they're they're usually just kind of stationary and. Um, you know, I, I didn't think they were direct enough tonight, but by Kevin jumping, then there's a seam to, to Kevin, and he, he got a chance at the net, and it kind of popped out to Artem. It seemed like you guys were pretty disciplined uh, on the ice tonight. Your players mentioned that was a big thing heading into this game. Talk a little bit about how you thought they did uh, as far as, you know, keeping their heads cool and, and staying in the game. Yeah, it, well, it's on top of a weekend where we probably were had our poorest discipline, you know. Um, and, and it's a rivalry game, and it's it's hard. It's hard not to punch somebody back when they push you, but if you're punching, you're the one getting the penalty. Um, so I, I thought, you know, especially the end of the game, Andre, you know, there's a little bit of a, you know, disturbance there, and um, Andre didn't engage, and I thought that was, you know, kind of the story of our night that we were disciplined enough to do the things required to win. Was that the loudest you've heard this crowd so far this year? Crowd was great. Um, before the game with the glow sticks and the, um, you know, it, it, it just, it, it gives, like, even in the second period, there's a probably about a five minute span where we didn't play great, but then we had one good shift and the crowd just went, boom, you know, and all of a sudden now, okay, here we go. Um, so we, uh, we've had such great crowds. The students are great. The band's great. Um, it's just, it's become a hard place for people to come in and win. Do you hope to hit another February stride like you did last year? That's the hope, you know, that's the hope. Um, we're, we're holding teams consistently in the 20s in shots. You know, this is the fifth game in a row. Um, that's a sign of, of things starting to come for us. You know, tonight it was 22, I believe. So if you, if you keep people, you know, 25, 22, 26, you have a chance to keep them under two or two at, or less goals against. Um, and, and that's all of a sudden, now you have a chance to win every night. Because if you can get your power play going, get a couple five on five goals, a power play goal, now you can win a game three to two. So um, that that's probably been that was probably the biggest change for us last year as we started to defend. Um, hopefully we're defending now this year. How big would a road win be tomorrow night? It'd be huge. Um, we've we've been very good at home and we've struggled on the road. Um, if you want to do what you want to do in the end, you got to be able to win on the road. And no better place to try get a get a win than um, against our biggest rival. We talked a lot this season about uh, goaltending for your team. Benny played a good game tonight, um, some big saves. Tell me how you think you know he played and, uh, and going forward. I thought he played great. Um, especially, it's it's especially hard as a goalie, because you know you're leading up to the game and you do your pregame warm up off the ice, then you do your warm up on the ice, and then you get to the game and you don't get a shot for the first seven minutes. So now you got to stay in the game mentally. Um, and I, I thought you know yeah, I thought he played great. I thought. Uh, he made the game easy on himself because he he either swallowed the rebounds up or they were put in an area that wasn't dangerous, you know. And um, that's that's what he can be, and we've seen that last year, and you know we're starting to see it more this year. And Grant Artem with the three points tonight, you know, what's it like to have your captain come through on a night like this when you guys played top to bottom really well, but also a great individual performance. Tonight? Great individual performance. Um, he's he's kind of been dry for a little bit, you know, and. Um, and some guys wear it, but some guys really wear it. And, and, and Artem, he's not wearing it because he's like, man, I want to score. He's like, man, I want to help us win. And, you know, for him to, you know, we, we had a meeting on Monday, and I just, I kind of asked him just to, hey, just take a step back. Just worry about yourself, not being the captain, because there's all these other things you got to worry about. Um, and, and just kind of play free a little bit. And, um, that's a great sign of things to come for him if we can get him kind of going at that clip again he was last year.